beautiful springtime of the South, we bring you a program today on the joy of music entitled A Musical Visit to Baton Rouge with music from the great new organ of St. Joseph's Cathedral. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Baton Rouge, or as they say in French, Bienvenue à Baton Rouge. You are looking across the mighty father of waters, the Mississippi River, at the capital of Louisiana. In 1699, Iberville, the French explorer, beheld on the high ground east of the river a vertical pole red with the blood of animals, which was thought to serve as a boundary between two tribes, hence the name Baton Rouge, French for red stick. settled in 1718 and since that time has lived under seven different flags. a multicultural area, a potpourri of French, Spanish, English, African, and Italian influences. It's Acadian music, Zydeco music, Dixieland music, its unmatched cuisine, and its many colorful festivals attest to the diversity and solidarity of this unique area of our country.
Located in the beautiful city of Baton Rouge is LSU. Today, Louisiana State University has grown into one of the modern major universities in the United States. Its 2,000 acre campus preserves Louisiana's historical past while remaining on the cutting edge of higher education. Its schools of agriculture, engineering, law, and the arts, as well as its athletic complex and programs, rank among the best in the nation. Southern University of Baton Rouge, chartered in 1880 for the education of Louisiana's black citizens, remains today the largest predominantly black university in the United States. Its beautiful school campus, situated on the bluffs overlooking the Mississippi River, has served as an inspiration for its students since the university's founding. Numbered among Southern University's graduates are some of the most outstanding educators, agriculturalists, and musicians in the South, and indeed, in the country. The Southern University Marching Band is internationally known for its color and originality. today comes to you from St. Joseph Cathedral. Though the first church in Baton Rouge was built in 1792, the present cathedral constructed in Gothic Revival style was not completed until 1856. The last restoration was completed in 1968. Throughout the years in the proclamation of the gospel through music and the spoken word, St. Joseph's Cathedral has provided spiritual leadership and inspiration to visitors and citizens of Baton Rouge.
It was a thrill to play the outstanding new organ at St. Joseph Cathedral, both in concert and for our Joy of Music taping. The organ was built by the Reuter Organ Company and consists of over 3,000 pipes, 49 ranks, and three manuals. Dedicated in 1994, the organ was named Providence in thanksgiving for God's blessings throughout the centuries. The beautiful old 20-feet stained glass windows are only a part of the cathedral's treasures. This magnificent 14-foot mahogany crucifix was carved by the internationally famous Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic with the help of the well-known sculptor Frank Hayden, who was studying with Mestrovic. This mahogany paschal candlestick was carved by Daryl Southern 
and is entitled A Symphony of Praise, The Prayer of the Humble, The Prayer of Praise, The Prayer of Communion, and The Prayer of the Scriptures. Its meaning is that all prayer is centered around the risen Christ. Tremble, tremble, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. stone was rolled away. Were you there when the stone was rolled away? Oh, sometimes it causes me
It is impossible in visiting Louisiana to escape the name and influence of Huey P. Long. The Kingfish, as he was called, was one of the first and greatest advocates of rights and reforms favoring the underprivileged class. His building programs included thousands of miles of highways and many bridges, and his educational reforms brought Louisiana national prominence during the 1920s and 30s. The new state capitol building, which was built by Long, remains the tallest and one of the most beautiful state capitals in the United States. Baton Rouge today is a modern metropolis. It is the fifth largest deep water seaport in the United States. The second largest petroleum refinery in the United States is located here as well. The fabulous Mississippi River Industrial Corridor begins here and extends on both sides of the river south to New Orleans, a distance of over 100 miles. Some of the world's richest soil is found here in the Mississippi River Delta, and sugarcane and other agriculture play a large part in the local economy. The old state capitol, built in 1850, was considered by Mark Twain to be the most unsightly building on the Mississippi River. It was here in this room in 1861, the act of secession of the state of Louisiana from the Union was passed. The building was later burned by Union troops, but has recently been completely restored. Baton Rouge grew from a sleepy river town to a bustling river port by the mid-1800s when cotton was king and the south was at its economic peak. Many local plantation homes remained to attest to the prosperity of that era. Parlange, the setting of Denusier's famous novel La Louisiane or Bagatelle, not away the largest remaining antebellum home in the south, rose down, restored to its original grandeur, and Goodwood and the Prescott Doherty House, both within the city limits of Baton Rouge. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Baton Rouge, with music from the St. Joseph's Cathedral. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.